To Mr. George Thomas and members of the Education Equal Opportunity Group, do we have any elected officials here? Uh, Representative Brown, uh, Des, and Guest. Of course, all of the students, and Dr. Brown told me uh, that George wanted me to, to talk with you today, but I have never attended one. I'm ashamed to say that I'm probably rushing back to Memphis, and, and uh, right now I would like to say that when I leave, I will have to rush back to Memphis. We usually leave on Thursdays, but when she told me that Mr. Thomas wanted me to be here, I decided I would, knew it was worth me staying over to today to meet and greet you. And I'm honored to have this opportunity to share in your seventh annual project, Save a Student Leadership conference with your theme, vision, commitment, equals success. And I envisioned uh, EEOG, and of course that's your acronym for the Equal Opportunity Group, and I shall use the words interchangeable and refer to them throughout the presentation. I got stuck on vision, and I asked Representative Brown just We've been so busy until I hadn't really thought about a lot. I thought about me having to do this, but I hadn't sat down to put some words or something together. But I kept that vision in my mind. I couldn't get vision out, and as I st started trying to put something together, I stayed with the vision, and Dr. Brown told me, well, we're going to have a mixed crowd. Now, you be sure you have something that's going to motivate the youngsters, but we have some adults going to be there too. So, you know, sometimes you want to know who it is you're talking with. It's just youngsters or if it's adults and if it's professionals and who it is. So it was a little difficult for me to get it together. My mind uh, kept going to it back to vision. So uh, you'll hear me say a lot about vision today. And, and I think that's where it begins. In fact, I know that's where it begins. I can remember when uh, the group first organized. Mr. Thomas was over there. He stayed around over in the legislative plaza where you were today. I saw some of you jumping up and down. That was really inspiring to me to see you were in really, really enjoying this conference. Uh, it's just difficult sometimes to get youngsters to know what youngsters will enjoy and what they will do. I applaud you. I want to give you a hand, myself, for being here today. I'm going to give my applause. And of course, I want you to also, while we're doing this, to give Mr. Thomas applause because for his Great job. You are truly, truly blessed to have someone who is interested in doing this kind of workshop and training for you. And of course, realizing the, the uh, importance of, of teamwork, of course, and Dr. Brown and is a mentor. Uh, I know she served, she first started, she was with George. She was George, George, that's why I said George. And uh, we're just so proud of you, Ms. Thomas. We really, really are. Realizing the importance of teamwork and good leadership, I felt that words of encouragement would be appropriate to reinforce the vision, commitment of continuous growth and success. I want you to listen. I know you're eating, but I just want you to listen. Just keep eating, but keep your ears open because at the end, I'm going to offer a test. It will be given to you after this talk. And... Um, You'll have a surprise, too. So first, I will share the definition of vision, commitment, and success. Sometimes we want to go right ahead doing things without using the dictionary. And that's something I carry around like the Bible, is that dictionary or encyclopedia somewhere close around. And that's what you should have around you. Now, you don't have to have what I had, the, the um, dictionary and the encyclopedia. You have what? computers, and they're right there on the computers. You, and I was just speaking with uh, our guest here, and he, he was saying we, we had to make almost everything we did when we were coming up in the classroom. As uh, Dr. Brown has told you that I was a teacher, and I, I still uh, use a lot of my teaching techniques that I have done for the, over the last, what, 35 years or more. So. 
We know that with vision and commitment, we have a collection of skills and factors that have come into play which are required for the growth of this organization and its leadership. And I will try to connect how vision relates to EEOG. Secondly, I will speak to the principles of leadership and teamwork through descriptive scenarios. And thirdly, leadership and commitment lead to EEOG and its success. And any other organization must imply and include commitment and vision. And in conclusion, I will cite in summary things every leader and everyone here, of course, is a leader in your own right. Every leader needs to know about having the vision, being committed, and realizing success. My major source of research was derived from Leadership, Promises for Every Day by John Maxwell. Now let's just look at vision, think about vision. Sometimes we do things, we just don't even think about what we're doing and where, how we've gotten where we are. Vision is the act of power of seeing unusual eyesight, something seen in or as if in a dream, the vision. Commitment to do, to bind and obligate. Success, a favorable outcome. We usually think about it as the attainment of wealth or a position. It requires work, though. You can't quit. It requires work. You just can't quit when you have a vision and when you're committed. How the vision relates to EEOG? Participants of the seventh annual EEOG conference are leaders. You are leaders. And think of yourselves as leaders. Vision is everything for a leader. Congratulations on your seventh annual project, Save a Student Leadership and Training Conference. Thank you and good evening. Please give Representative Cooper another round of applause. To show our appreciation for Representative Cooper, and we do this, we've been doing this, and if you guys understand what we're going to do, we're going to try to get it right this time. But Representative Cooper, I want to let you know that we really appreciate you being here. We really appreciate Representative Tommy Brown. We really appreciate all the members of our leadership and our board of directors, and I would like to read it to you. It's very sincere, and it's very important that we share this with you at this time. Uh, this award... We're giving it to you to show our appreciation. It's actually presented by the Educational Opportunity Group to the Honorable Barbara W. Cooper and as our keynote speaker for the seventh annual Project Save Student Leadership and Training Conference. And I have some great motivators who are in professional development. My first motivator is a gentleman named uh, Norman Vincent Peel. He wrote a book called Discover the Power of Positive Thinking. My other motivator I love is Earl Nightingale who wrote the, the Secret, The Strangest Secret on How You Can Actually Be Successful. And my last motivator, who I really, you know, truly uh, like to emulate, is a gentleman named Zig Ziglar. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I like to do, Representative Cooper, if you allow me to just read one of his quotes, and I think some of the students will help me read it to you. Okay. And so, but it simply reads, of all the attitudes we can acquire, surely the attitude of gratitude is the most important and by far the most life-changing by Zig Ziglar. Thank you so very much. Thank you. <laughs>